It's time for the Gizwiz with Mads Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1,592, recorded on Thursday, October 6th, 2016. Another flashy episode. I'm really excited about this episode of the Gizwiz. Dick has more gadgets from Interbike. If you don't have your helmet, don't worry. Dick has the perfect gadgets for you. Of course, we continue my driving crappy corner and we get to your letters. But enough of this. Let's shift gears and cruise on into the Gizwiz. I'm show with Dickie D. And OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing, growing LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! And here he is, the internet of gadgets. He has all the internet's knowledge of gadgets in his brain. Dick D. Bartolo, wow. how you doing, Dickie D? Uh, I'm doing good, sir. And you? I'm doing well myself. It's been a uh, good, good, uh, you know, few minutes since the last Gizwiz, <laughs> I'd say. It's quite a... Yes, we're, we're doing two in a row because I have to uh, go buy milk <laughs> and I have to re return two books to the library. And what are you going to do for the next 11 days? Gosh, family vacation. My parents, I have a mother. She's going to listen to this, so I got wow. to be, I got to be, I do have a mother. <laughs> it's true. Uh, she loves vacations and loves to plan vacations. Uh, I think that if, you know, how sometimes people get a job once you retire, um, which defeats the purpose, but you know what I mean. Uh, I think <laughs> yeah, that she right, should okay. be a travel agent because she loves to plan vacations. So I have a family vacation planned that was planned last December, probably before, because I only learned about it last December. Uh, and uh, so we are going on, on a cruise of the Gulf of Mexico. We are staying away from the hurricane area, so don't worry. Um, and our thoughts obviously go out to the people who are being affected by the hurricane, or have been. We're probably yeah. this coming out a week later. It's it's hitting tomorrow, really, uh, as we record this. So, um, hope everyone's fine there because uh, that looks scary. Um, yeah, woo. So that's that's where <laughs> where I'll be. And with a cruise, and it's well. You don't a got ten day internet. cruise. It's a five, uh, seven day cruise. Seven days. Seven uh, day. But okay. I'm getting there because they leave really early in the morning. Um, I'm making sure to get to the port where they leave from, and then uh, leaving a day early, and then uh, because oh, it'd just be too. I have to drive. You know, it'd be too stressful to make wake up and worry that if you get a flat tire, the boat leaves without you. So, uh, going up a day early and then leaving myself a day to rest. <laughs> From my cruise, from my vacation, <laughs> on the way okay, back. Okay. So yeah. And, and and what port does it leave from? Galveston, Galveston port. So there's, Galveston. I mean, there's. Oh, okay. Cruises out of everywhere. It seems like Galveston's a, a weird port, but yeah, Galveston. It's it's easy to get to at Galveston, Texas. Wow. So Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, looking, really looking forward to it. But and that means we are recording the Gizwiz early. So here we are. Uh, if you obviously download the podcast, nothing has changed for you. And we have a great show lined up as well. Uh, all gadgets from Interbike and my gadgets from the driving crappy corner. So let's jump into it. Okay, fine. So uh, Interbike, a, a big show in Las Vegas, every kind of bike and bike gadget. And today I'm going to do three uh, kind of safety gadgets. And the first one uh, in New York City. City bike ha is a phenomenon. They have city oh, bikes gosh. everywhere. Yes. And the thing is, people with city bikes and other bikes, they never have any kind of, or even if they have them, they never bother telling you that they're coming up behind you. And sometimes I, I turn around, I hear something, and like a bike goes by inches away, and I'm thinking, can't you just let me know you're coming so here is a perfect gadget every biker should consider. And here it is. 
Hey, Dickie Bartolo, Mads Madness Driver, to end the Gizwiz, one take theater here at gizwiz.tv. You know, uh, I don't know what order we're showing our videos in, but uh, I've been talking about uh, bikers should have a bell or a horn or something, and we came across a gadget here that is a warning sound, a warning light, and we're going to talk to Tori about this guy, which is called... Orp. Orp. Yeah, or... Orp for short, but Orp Smart Horn. Orp Smart Horn. Okay, so give us a little demo. Okay, well, it's smart because it's got, does multiple things. It's a combination uh, bike horn and bike light, front beacon light. And so first, I got to power it up. Uh, when oh. you power it up, the batteries are charging? Uh, the well, what we did is we, we made it, we made it so you could, you could take it off your bike and throw it in a bag and not have the lights accidentally go on. I because see. Then you know you pull your, you go to school all day, you or you go to work all day. You pull your orp out, and the lights are dead. And that's so we don't want that to happen. So we have to power it up. So I'll do that again. So it's a three-second press, and you can hear it. Oh, that, I heard it. A little yeah, sound to yeah, tell you. Okay. Sound that powers it up, and now it's ready to go. So tail up is uh, the friendly sound, 76 decibels. So that's if like somebody's on a. You're on a trail that's shared with runners and hikers. Um, you can give them the friendly sound and say, hey, get out of my way. But when you're in traffic, you got the loud sound, 96 decibels, and that's for, that's for when you're in traffic. And the idea is you can become more visible. Hey, by you, out of yeah, the way. Yeah, yeah. Exa exactly, exactly, exactly. And um, it's USB rechargeable. Okay, oh, a little port in the back. And, and so how long to charge it, and then what kind of uh, run time? Okay, so if I, if I keep it powered up, um, but no lights on, uh, then probably like two weeks. We get the horn sound almost for free in terms of battery usage. But if I go slow strobe, about 11, 12 hours, and then constant on, about three to four hours. It takes about an hour and a half, two hours to recharge. Just uses any uh, micro USB adapter, just like from your, your iPhone, that works great. Okay, and a lot of people are carrying their external battery charges with them anyway for their phone. Now, how does this attach to, uh, these are pseudo handlebars, right, bike exactly, handlebars. Exactly, So it's pretty simple. You just put it on and then you just stretch it around and then it's all sealed up. So it, it's, it's essentially waterproof now. Um, and then to get it off, you, all you got to do is like, it's just like you're, you want to see what uh, gender your cat is. You lift up its tail and you pull it off and that reveals the micro USB port. That is really neat. And they come in how many colors? Got eight colors. Eight colors, okay. And this little thing on the side is the remote port. And I can remote. show you Remote? So if you're home in your living room, you can, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, pretty much, pretty much. I mean, the whole thing is, so if, if you're on flat bars, you can hit it with your thumb, no problem. But if you're on a road bike like this one, oh, yeah, that's you've, got, hard. you've got your brakes and your gears right here. So you really, your hands are always here and you want to stay in control. So we made, the, we made all Orps remote ready and the remote is just this little thing. So you're just pressing this little switch, and it's a little soft touch for the friendly sound. And then press a little harder for the loud sound. Super simple, um, and Bet their neighbors it's long them. enough where the, you can uh, put it image. almost anywhere on the handlebars. That is really great. And I also uh, didn't realize every time the horn sounds, it also flashes the light. That's right, that's right, good point. So the idea being that you, we just want to make the cyclist more visible. Okay, and the price point? Uh, $65 for ORP, uh, the unit itself, and then $15 for the remote. Okay, and your website is? ORPland.com. ORPland.com. O-R-P. O-R-P-L-A-N-D.com. Oh, you know what? Uh, my cameraman, uh, Michael Summer, is saying, look at this. <laughs> and, a, oh, you mustache. know what? We did not plan this, but they uh, have a Gizwiz version. Oh, they have to gray the mustache a little. Dick Bartolo, Man's Maddest Writer, and the Gizwiz, One Take Theater, here at gizwiz.tv. At Interbike, bye! This seems great. Uh, there's so much nice design in it.
uh, in that you know you easily just flick up or down it's super easy to get to it comes with a remote and also that stretchy it looked like almost like a, a latex sort of you know stretchy material could fit any bike it doesn't it's not a hard plastic Ex material this is exactly so great i love this yeah Absolutely and uh, pretty much waterproof uh, no, I think it's great, too. And I like the fact that he has two different sounds so that if you're close to somebody and you don't want to terrify them, you can do the low sound. But if you're in traffic and you want to be heard, you can do the high sound. And the fact that I didn't even realize that the light vibrates, qu flashes quickly. It's just very clever. Very uh, clever. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It's, it reminds me that, you know, friendly sound reminds me of the ring, ring, you know, that you hear. Yes. <laughs> on like really old timey bikes. I think uh, that's fantastic. Exactly. This exactly. is great. And exactly. especially it's, it seems super quick to attach and detach from a bike. So you're talking about those, the share, it's a bike share service uh, in New York, their branded city, uh, city bank bikes um, that are, seem to be everywhere. This is, this is I really, really like it. Um, Orp. Good. Orp. And Good. the price point uh, seems great as well, around $60. So, gosh, that's, this is a, this there is it a, is. A gosh darn great gadget. <laughs> Good. Now, the next guy is also an incredible safety gadget, and uh, it's a helmet, and it's a helmet, and so much more. Oh. Let's see. Hey, Dick DiBartolo, Mads Mad is trying to end the Gizwiz one take theater here at gizwiz.tv into bike. Into bike every kind of bike gadget that you can imagine and bikes. But you know, when you go biking, you want to be seen. So I have a great idea. So you like that? Wait a minute, there's more. There's more. Okay, so we're going to talk to Hanu and he's going to tell us exactly what we're seeing. Yeah, so uh, this is the Lumos helmet. We launched uh, a year ago on Kickstarter. And two weeks ago, they started shipping to everyone in the U.S. and Europe. How many millions did you uh, make? Basically, it's a regular bicycle <laughs> helmet. You've got white lights on the front, red lights on the back. Uh, you have a little remote that clips onto your handlebars. That oh, let's see that. Oh, you know, I thought you had a terrible biking accident. <laughs> so this is a demo. This is a demo. So uh, you have your left and right turn signals visible also on the front and on the back. And uh, if you turn around to the camera just a little bit, when you slow down, the entire back of the helmet lights up red. So cars, cyclists, whoever is behind you on the road will see and be able to uh, uh, predict your movement and change in speed. Well, now is this hooked to the bike? In, how, how does it know that you're braking? So basically we've uh, put an uh, accelerometer into the, uh, into the little remote that clips onto your handlebars. So that senses your speed. And uh, when you're braking, that is Intuitive. so clever. So there's no wiring. All you do is put the helmet on, clip that on your handlebar. On your handlebar, you can take you can take it with with you with any bike. So it's just a twist clip onto the handlebars, and and you're ready to go. And also, this is a safety deterrent of someone taking it. So when you walk inside, exactly. You and what what are we using for power? Uh, it's a battery built-in battery, so it's a USB rechargeable. Uh, the helmet uh, goes on for about seven hours if it's on a flashing mode, about four hours if it's on the solid mode, what is on the right. Okay, and the price point? Uh, it'll retail at 169 in the US, and right now it's still available on our website for 149 Okay, and the website is? It's www.lumashelmet.co. And it comes in various colors? Various colors, yeah, various colors. We've got black, white, and blue and uh, currently comes in one size, adult size, so fits a medium and a large size head. And he's wearing the same thing, there's just one model. That's correct, there's one model at the moment. This is really a great idea because safety is so critical and for the price, a little more than the price of a, a good bike helmet, you have lights, LED lights, and you will be seen. I will be seen on this channel again. Dickie Bartolo, Mads Medis Rider, and the Gizwiz. One take theater here at gizwiz.tv. That is, uh, you know, anything with LEDs. The Gizwiz is always about that. We got to get a, a gadget. Yes, yes. <laughs> ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Oh, you have one. They, they seem you know really what? I, well designed. 
Uh, they uh, it's really great, and uh, I had no idea about uh, five o'clock tonight. I got this package, and I didn't know they were sending one. I said, "No, I can live with the video," but uh, yeah, it's really nice. Actually, I like the one in black better because yeah, uh, the light the, the light seemed to stand out uh, a little bit better. But uh, no, it's really neat. And now, if I'm going to make a turn, I hit my turn signals. Let's do. <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah, turning. yeah. And then, so. I mean, that seems as bright and as large as what you would expect to see on a motorcycle, on the tail yes, end it, of a motorcycle. That seems exact, really, really exact. nice. Uh, uh, and Lumos. Lumos. And uh, yeah, lumoshelmet.co. Uh, and you can get it uh, some price, a good price on it right now because it's still in pre order. Looks like they have something yes, they with be- Bill Nye the Science Guy is going on uh, over here. But yeah, $149 for pre-order. You have that in black. It looks like we saw white, and they also have blue. Blue, the three colors. Yeah. Man, that, so. these are some great... I, who knew that Interbike would have so many great gadgets? I, I had gadgets. no idea. This, I had no idea. This seems... <laughs> This seems like a no-brainer. Uh, if if you are a big biker, to and you you know you're just looking for a helmet, get a helmet with turn signals. Get a helmet that automatically shows brake lights when you're slowing down. That yeah, seems uh, that so it, isn't it? Cool. It's clever. It's so clever. That's awesome. And then finally, our, our third safety gadget is really designed at kids. So a lot of kids, they don't want to wear a bike helmet because, oh, uh, you know, I look nerdy. I look. So what if you could make wearing a bike helmet fun or very silly? So this guy has come up with a way called Crazy Heads. Crazy Heads. <laughs> Hey, Dick DiBartolo, Mads, Mad at Friday, and the Gizwiz, one take. That, that's the other video, one second. Uh, uh, I, may, I may need to get the uh, Crazy Heads video here for uh, us. Okay. Looks so like I downloaded, uh, oh, we may, we may need to. Oh, you know, did I not send you Crazy Heads? No, I think you did. I think that uh, I got okay. it wrong. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, uh. We may have to watch off of YouTube. Here we go. Da, da, da. Hey, Dick Bartolo, man's maddest writer, and the Gizwiz, one take theater here at gizwiz.tv. Don't ride topless doesn't necessarily what you thought. And we're talking to David here. This is really a great idea. You want your kid to wear a crash helmet. Is it a crash helmet? A, a safety bike helmet. helmet. A, bike a bike helmet. helmet. Okay. And so he's devised a way, actually many ways, that the kid will proudly wear their helmet and yeah, show us that the, under there is a regular helmet. Regular helmet, and all you do is stretch it like a like a shower cap. Fits on bike helmets and ski helmets. <laughs> it's a unicorn. <laughs> this is the uh, this is the unicorn. This is Sparky the unicorn. Sparky the unicorn. Okay. This, of course, is the Viking. The Viking. Okay. And you don't have to be a Minnesota Viking fan to love it. <laughs> okay. We have some of the other guys. Uh, What's the biggest seller? These two are the biggest sellers, but the princess. And the giraffe, and the prankster, <laughs> and skulls and bones. I love it. Oh, I bet they. Oh, they're very big. Wow, that's great. <laughs> okay. For those who love blood and guts and chains and zippers. Oh yeah. This guy has <laughs> reflective ink, so if you're out late at night or in, in dusk or in the in the in the early in the morning, you are vis- more visible to cars. All right, and and Dave, give us uh, uh, the. Uh, a range of prices. These range from retail twenty-eight to thirty-seven dollars. All of these styles over here are plush styles, are for use on ski and snowboard helmets only. The spandex style, like Sparky here, can be used on any type of helmet. Any type of helmet. Now, also, could a kid just wear that without the helmet? No, no. no it's really designed for the, to go over the helmet. Yeah, it's, uh, the construction is that you need the side ear pieces so the the elastic oh, goes, okay. goes over the edge. Okay. Otherwise, I guess you could wrap it around your ears, but I don't think that would be very comfortable. Okay. This is this is really <laughs> great. And I'm just going to show you what one looks like in a pack. Oh, there, the packages are wired in, but there they are down there. And they are, where do people find these? 
Uh, they're sold online. Uh, there are people on Amazon who we drop ship for. Uh, they're at Walmart. And, uh, and we have our own website, crazyheads.com. Crazyheads.com, I like it. Dick DiBartolo, Man's Madness writer, and the GizWiz, a little crazy in the head himself, here at gizwiz.tv. Bye. That is so cool. You have the coolest gadgets this week, Dick. I love that uh, yeah, yeah, you can fun. modify an existing helmet uh, on the, you know, a few of their designs. Just wrap it around the helmet. Uh, and yeah. What a cool and, and, gift and to give. That's kid, awesome. Kids won't be riding at night, so this is a fun way to... Uh, for kids to uh, wear things, and, and they make them in adult sizes. They're just, they're just fun. I really, really like them. Yeah, uh, that's <laughs> that is so cool, and uh, I, I think that unicorn one is uh, probably the perfect one uh, for me. You know, I think that I would look great in a unicorn crazy head helmet. Uh, I think you, yeah. <laughs> I think it has Chad written on. You should get one for the cruise. There you go. You know that'll make you know when normally when I go out in public I wear a helmet. Uh, and so this will yeah. make me a lot more stylish. I feel like uh, very, 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 very cool. So crazy heads. What was the price point on those? Again? Uh, they. I, I think he said about twenty-seven dollars to like thirty-five dollars, depending on how involved they are and if they're plush. You know the big plush things are probably at the high end. That is so, so, so cool. Yeah, $27, yeah. You, that Viking helmet he was wearing, that was $27, uh, $27.99, there you go. so $28. Exactly, there you go. wow, very, very, very cool. So some great gadgets from Inner Bike. Do you have more for us on the, on the next? Uh, yes, next week uh, awesome. I, I, have, I have, oh, I have some great stuff next week. I, I have one invention, I'm going to save it for last. It, it's like, why didn't someone pick uh, ways to hang bikes? You have to come back next week. Perfect. It, it's a, it'll be amazing. It'll be amazing. What a tease. Uh, and you know what? Uh, you, th those are all nice safety features. My crappy corner is also very, very, very safe. So Whoa. Let's on to Chad. No, you don't need it, but you might, might want, want it at Chad's, Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. So, uh, this crappy corner is all about driving gadgets. And when I was out and about, I found a nice safety gadget uh, that I feel like everyone should have in their car. Uh, it's actually still in the packaging. So, we're going to remember the open okay. its. The open its? Oh, open it. We're yes, going to use I an open it to, to get it open. Uh, but here it is it is a multifunction, auto emergency multifunction tool. So, uh, built in to uh, this uh, gadget, you have a way to open up windows with a uh, kind of like a pick or a hammer uh, that smashes open car door windows. Car door windows. Does that have... work on Windows 10? <laughs> I do, don't you wish? Uh, don't you wish <laughs> that it would work on Windows 10? So uh, it, th those windows, those safety glass windows, uh, do not shatter normally. They have no, uh, yes. They have lots of protection so that they will not shatter uh, when broken. And y and if you are trapped in your car and maybe you're in a situation uh, with flooding, uh, getting out. Oh, there's a magnetic base. Oh, very cool. I can't tell if this was supposed to come off or not. It's very, very sticky. Let's put that back on there. Um, so if you're in a situation where uh, you are inside the car, where maybe uh, the car is flooding and the uh, and you know bringing down the window doesn't work anymore, and you have to smash open the window, uh, it would be impossible with your hand or even a hard object in the car. You need one of uh, these very, very tough objects to crack open. Uh, a window. So that's what this object is right on the front, uh, sort of this hammer pick like object. Let us see if I can get underneath. There you go. And that's what it looks like right there. Uh, you also, uh, in some situations, you'll want to cut open your safety belt instead of using the normal release. So if this is next to your driver's, uh, driver's seat, uh, you could easily grab this, obviously slice open uh, your, uh, the, the, not your chest, but the, the safety harness, and then smash open the window and get out. But if you're in a less dire situation and you just need, say, a flashlight, 
Well, this oh. has a built-in flashlight as well, and another nice little feature that I uh, really turned my eye on to this, uh, which is a flashing beacon with a magnetic bottom, uh, or I guess technically top, to the, uh, to the uh, base. So, if you have a car with a metal top, it should be able to smack right there on the top and not fall off in wind or uh, rain or weather, that sort of thing, so that you can uh, keep that beacon on the top of your car with the magnetic base. So uh, I thought this was a nice little multifunction uh, device for safety. You got you know, a way to break open your window, the way to open up your safety harness. Uh, you have a little bit of flashlight here whenever you're trying to deal with fixing uh, things, and then also your beacon with a magnetic base so that you will not... You know what, uh, the white light uh, lights all the way around? It does not. It actually is just this... Oh, it's a, it's a flashlight. It's okay. just a flashlight. Here, I can turn okay. off the studio lights so you can okay. see. Just a flashlight. Oh, got it. Okay. okay. Uh, and then the beacon, the red beacon, uh, is the thing that uses the, the side. The sides. Oh, exactly. yeah. Nice. Does it have a... Tr I'm looking for it on Amazon. And, you know, so uh, there's a few different, this is one of those devices that probably a whole bunch of people uh, use. And this, the packaging of this called it just a multifunction tool. Uh, and the best that I have found on Amazon is this, the blazing LED oh, auto emergency multifunction tool. That looks very close. Yeah, I think it is actually. Uh, now looking at it, it comes with the batteries, uh, which I, which I, wow. I gotta say is, is quite nice. Uh, it's $8 on Amazon. Here's, here, let me Oh talk. my gosh, and it's prime. And it's prime. Yeah, this is the same. This is definitely wow. the same product. You can see the the the, the imagery. Yeah. On it. There you go. Now I actually bought this. Uh, have you ever heard of a store called Five Below? This is a, a newer no. a newer discount store. So uh, everything in the store costs five dollars or less. So I actually got this for five dollars at the uh, Five Below store which I thought was a pretty gosh darn nice steal of a price considering when I found it on Amazon later, it's for $8, it's for $3 more. Um, but yeah, so uh, this is the Blazing LED Auto Emergency Multifunction LED black light, back flashlight, includes batteries, and uh, it has not been reviewed on Amazon. I wish that I could test out this, uh, this <laughs> The, the window breaking, but, you know, I don't have a car that uh, needs a oh, window. Oh, yeah, open. you know, a parking lot. There'll oh, be a there lot of go. windows. That's, I don't know. Why didn't I think of that, you know? You go, <laughs> the, the local car dealership, I'm sure, has a few. You know, there's yeah. no big deal. So, uh, and next time you go on an airplane, you have lots of seat belts. <laughs> exactly. Gosh, you're just, the, just a great wealth of knowledge and, and <laughs> what I should have done, really, is, yeah. is absolutely. So that is my, it's nice, we had a, a it's always great when we kind of have a, a safety, uh, or we have a theme together. So this was our, yeah, kind of our safety gadgets together. And an uh, inexpensive tool that, who knows, might end up save your, saving your life one day. So, quite nice. With that, Excellent. let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Video version. Video edition. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Foghorn. What do you got for this, this week? All right, our letter is, it's another viewer video. You know, we put all the viewer videos into the gadget warehouse section, whether they're warehouse or not. And this is kind of funny. Hi, Dick and Chad. After seeing episode 1588, I was excited to purchase the Paw Abu cat toy for my cats. I immediately purchased it from Amazon, excited to see their reaction. Ooh. The res yeah, the results were not what I expected. So here is Daryl's viewer video. 
Okay, so uh, this is something I saw on the Gizwiz netcast, and I'm gonna pull it up here on Amazon. I remember it this. It's called the Powaboo. Pet yeah, TV just like three weeks ago. Hide and seek electric mouse hunt interactive cat toy, and it's green. This is all ready to go. I have one cat out there ready to test it on. And this thing has a switch on the side just for a fast or slow setting. I'm going to go ahead and put it on fast, and we'll see what he thinks about it. <laughs> Apparently not much. <laughs> it's not very, uh... Okay. This is what he did earlier. He just kind of looked at it. <laughs> it's a little bit better than the results the guys on the Gizwas got, because Dick DiBartolo... He uh, put this in front of his dog, and it just scared his dog to death. So these are slightly better results than that, but right, I yeah. was expecting these cats to go wild for this thing. <laughs> he like he's looking at it. Cat out here, so he just said it like that the cat is saying, "This is a dog toy." <laughs> the moment Isn't that a riot? Oh, second cat. <laughs> Seems like it scared the second cat. So we've got one bored cat and one scared cat. <laughs> one bored cat, one scaredy cat. You can <laughs> hear him say. I safely say this thing um, is good at boring cats. I would have been worried about the lifetime uh, durability of this product, but since the cats seemingly don't ever touch it, they're kind of like, not even looking at it anymore. They can oh, just no. look at it for endless hours of near enjoyment. I think my cat yeah, what do I pay you guys for? <laughs> Look at them. I They're going, again, what did you, how, you, how much you did you know, pay you for this? And everything, and you guys just sit oh around my on the gosh. Side. You don't even play with the laser. I think you have some dud cats. I don't mean to be <laughs> rude, Daryl. <laughs> maybe, maybe, they're older, maybe they're older cats. Oh, sorry. About that. We're going yeah, back that, to the warehouse. Um, that, I think that, I that see, is, I've seen my cats get more enjoyment out of a window. <laughs> oh, that is a riot. Uh, Daryl, go. Uh, uh, I'll just spell it because I'm so bad at names. Uh, Daryl, D-I-O-R-S. Daryl, I'm for so sorry. It, it's like people kind of <laughs> raved over that. Maybe they have to be younger. But Maybe. it's so funny. They're sitting there like, I hope we didn't pay a lot of money for this because this thing is... Boring. <laughs> I wanna, um, I wanna get one too, and test it out. I mean, I feel like, um, I feel like uh, you said Waffles is a pretty active cat. Yeah, or definitely. Waffles. What yeah. Was it, what was its name yeah. again? I forget. Um, uh, Petapaw. P A W. Um, I think if you just type in uh, cat mouse game, right? Or or just go to my website last week. I think it was. Uh, oh yes, that's yeah. Uh, hmm. There we go. I'm, Paw. I'm, I think it's P A W A B O O. I think it was something weird like Paw Abu. Paw Abu. There we go. Got it. It was twenty dollars. Um, you know the Amazon reviews. People say that uh, no, a lot of them. They, they, it got good reviews. Yeah, really good reviews. Here, here's a here's another video. Oh, okay. Someone else's video. Okay. Okay. It's on the Amazon reviews. Let's see what happens. Okay. So this cat is into it. This cat is saying, "Where? Come on, come on up again! I dare you! Come up again!" Huh? <laughs> this cat. It. This cat's going in to take it apart. This cat might get. <laughs> might. <laughs> This this cat's gonna get that mouse. This cat might come out as hole. Terminator. It <laughs> goes in a cat, comes out a cyborg. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Still, anyway. that, was, that was pretty funny. I'm I'm glad you sent in the video. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Daryl. Thank you, Daryl. You will get the uh, December issue of Mad. You'll get one of those. Uh, 32 year old Alfred E. Newman pictures, as will anyone who sends us a video that we show. Okay. So it can be, so far, it's two weeks in a row where we had people buy stuff that we talked about. One turned out to be a lemon light bulb. One almost caught one, fire to the house. 
Uh, yes. And and one, well, we can't blame it on the gadget. I think it just for some reason uh, didn't get your cat's attention. But uh, Daryl did say something funny in the video uh, that people who worried that it wouldn't last long. It's going to last forever with his cats because all they do is look at it. <laughs> they, they, they don't try to attack the mouse at all. Uh, anyway, so make a video, two to three minutes, put it on YouTube. Uh, just cl uh, click unlisted when you put it up there, and that way people won't stumble across it. Only people with the link will be able to watch it. But send us the link and send it to mail at... Uh, gizwiz.tv and if we show it you'll get a mad magazine and uh, as I said one of those 32 year old Alfred E. Newman pictures mail at gizwiz.tv and I think we might be out of videos so get a uh, get a recording uh, get going <laughs> yes exactly get a, get a recording camera action <laughs> get going okay with that let's move on to the letter And our letter is from Jared, who says, I saw this on Reddit. It's a tool used by welders. It's huh. supposed to make welding and holding metal together easier. I think it's amazing. It's a super strong little magnet device, but you turn the magnet on and off with a knob. Wow. They make many... They make many sizes and shapes to hold items together. I'm thinking of getting the keychain sized one. I hope you guys enjoy them. So, wow. You know what? Did, did, was one of them $1,200? What? Was that true? Oh, oh, he, that was a $1,200 no, $1, one? Okay, this one's $1,400. No, no, uh, and this one's $40. Oh, okay. I, I was looking. Okay. Maybe. You know else. what? Oh, this okay, is yeah, 103. Yeah, Jeez. Show that, show, show that video. So this is a video I just quickly found uh, on YouTube. I want, just wanted to see uh, new Mag Switch work holding system. Um, I can't quite. Oh, this is not the magnet, right? I thought it was, yeah, it's named Mag Switch. It was yellow. I was like, oh, I, th I think I found it. There we go. Um... I may need to search for mag switch magnet. Um, um, but there we go. You know, if, if you huh. turn it on and off, magnet. Wow. There we go. That's so there it is. That seems like magic. How does that work? I, I, I know. Uh, what is the power source? I wonder if it's just the magnet gets close enough to the side to work? This music, okay, we don't, it, <laughs> that adds nothing. Okay. No. Oh, he's showing us now. Yeah. Yeah, it's on there, look at that. But you know, so you could build a temporary metal table, right? I guess, yeah. Oh, wait, he's going to do it. Wow. That oh seems ma like magic. I don't... Uh, uh, pff, what? How does that, that work? You tur Just turn the knob 90 degrees, someone in the chat room. Yeah, you turn the knob and then it's on. Now, now uh, if this was an electrical magnet, I would understand. If there was a power source, you know, you'd run power through, through coil. Yeah. We would magnetize it. Oh, wait, maybe we get a better view of this. No, no better view. No. No, none. What? I don't understand. Okay, well, that's a cool, that's a, it seems like a very, very, very cool gadget. Yeah, 
So what's the cheap? Oh wow! For, oh, that must be the keychain one, right? The one with the little yeah. Chain this is at a little keychain version. That's fourteen dollars, and now it does cost five dollars shipping. Uh, but there's all sorts of different styles. This one looks like an old switch type thing. Uh, yeah, it has an on off. I don't know. Maybe there's some sort of polarity yeah. thing that it just. You know, go, go back up to the uh, reviews, Chad. What did people say? So, uh, the, the, I mean, this, this oh, my is a good. $40 thing, 12 reviews. They seem to love it. Good and fun. The ability to turn off the magnet field makes them easy and clean. I work as a welder. Uh, proximity with the weld area. The ability to turn off the magnet makes the field easy and clean. They aren't cheap. This is amazing. How does this yeah. work? This is the one we saw in that video right there. It's oh, it is. dollars Yes. And it doesn't say batteries not included or anything, right? So there's no power source. It doesn't look like it. I wonder if there is some, some way that if you turn a magnet that it... May, and, and have another magnet inside Exactly. It, I'm thinking right? maybe two magnets that cancel each other out, but... It seems like I'm talking, I'm just making up scenarios. I have no idea. There's wow. so cool. So Bleak just put in a, uh, a link in this. In F-A, yeah. In the uh, FAQ. Mag, magswitch.com.au. I need a photo. I'm not going to read all this. <laughs> yeah, he, I says, know. he says, I don't, huh. How do they work? Is it electromagnet? No. Oh, yeah. uh, in, in safety and independence from uh, external power source, it allows this in case of, I don't know, this is, that's an incredible. How, how about, it, it's magic. It's magic. I think it is. So he's saying magnetic fields can be interfered with. He says, due to its unique design, the mag switch can hold in excess of 150 times its own weight. One typical version weighs less than 200 grams, but can hold over 50 kilograms. Different sizes and versions are available to suit particular applications. Interesting. Well, what we need is an arc lighter. <laughs> with a magnet. With, with a magnet. And the arc can needs be turned to... Absolutely. You know what? And then we can sell that to the fidget people. <laughs> and we will make they, $10 million, Dick. Yeah, yeah. This is perfect idea. Light, light the arc or play with the magnet. I, you, yeah. you don't think that in all the years you've been alive, something new is going to come out that you just absolutely don't understand. And it has. Of course, Eric, Eric Duckman crazy. is busting your bubble. These things have existed for decades. I'm sure magnets have existed. I've just never <laughs> seen this version of them. No, me <sighs> either. Me either. Man, uh, interesting. Jared, J Jared, thank you for sending that on because um, it's really fascinating. It's really fascinating. I agree. Uh, I may, yeah, I may get one so you could pick up paper clips, right? Exactly. And then turn the magnet off and the paper clips would fall off. It'd be a good magic trick. You know, you use magic yeah. at one point, you don't use it at another point. You know point. what? You should ask Brian Brushwood if he knows about yeah. these. Yeah, are these on scam stuff? Yes, exactly. Exactly. Very, yeah. very cool. It's uh, very interesting whenever we see something brand new that we have never seen yeah. before. Right. And that's true. It could be decades old, but if you've never seen it, it's new to me. Brand new to us. New to us. So it uses two diametrically polarized magnets, which with one rotating on the top of the other, by rotating the top magnet 180 degrees, the magnet poles of both magnets are aligned to generate a p powerful magnetic field. When rotated back, the magnet poles are counter aligned, collapsing the magnetic found field within the magnets. Oh, oh! Now my whole its magic theory right, is well, gone. Whatever. Nah. Uh, 
Well, okay. Those were cool for about All two right. minutes. Anyway, moving on, you know what is cool? Our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. These guys support the show every single episode, and we couldn't thank them anymore. You guys are fantastic. If you're wondering what Patreon is, it is a service to support independent content creators like the Gizwiz. And we have our Patreon. Yeah! over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Thank you guys so, so, so much for your support. And of course, this is our plea. If anyone, if you are out there and you enjoy the gizwiz, please consider uh, contributing. Your generosity is so appreciated. Thank you so much to everyone who has already contributed. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. Yes, we could use a few more supporters. It would be great. But thank you, the people who are and have. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And if you want to catch the Gizwiz live, you can do so at gizwiz.tv. Our schedule is a little bit uh, fluctuating. The next time that we record will be on Monday. And I believe that is the 20? Yeah. I think. <laughs> no. It's the I, 17th. I the the, Monday the 17th will be the next time that we record live. Uh, at uh, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern time. And gizwiz.tv is the place to do it. But if you don't catch us live, don't worry. We will be not live. We'll be on demand at gizwiz.tv where you can subscribe to the show on iTunes or RSS or YouTube, whatever you enjoy. And all of our past episodes are there. Also, when you're there, you can click through the show notes. If you click on the link, it takes you to where you can buy the gadget, or the name, it takes you to gizwiz.biz, where DKD has written up little articles about every single gadget that we cover on the show. When you're there at gizwiz.biz, why not play What the Heck Is It? You have to guess what this gadget is, and the funnier, the better. Here it is. This is obviously a way to make ice cream not hit your hand whenever you're holding any of those uh, ice cream cones that get super drippy during the summer. If you have a guess, there's 12 Mad Magazines for correct answers, but 24 for hilarious, clever, interesting, and smart answers. And you win this Mad Magazine signed by Dickie D himself. Uh, I think that about wraps it up for this episode of the Gizwiz. Sorry, I bumped you, Dickie D. We will see no, you no next time. I'll be here.